We are here today in Hopkinton in the beautiful backyard of Mina Barath to talk a bit about her life uh, coming from India, ending up here in Hopkinton, talking about her, her life uh, in two, on two continents over time, what she has learned in both settings, what she offers in her work in, on school committee, and her work in finance before and in her work with community uh, from her lessons of life. I'm looking forward to having tea with her. Hi, Mina. Thank you for having me in your beautiful backyard today here in Hopkinton. I, uh, I feel like I am in true celebration of spring because I hear uh, peepers and birds and all of your beautiful plants and trees growing here. So it's a perfect place to talk with you uh, about life and, and your life at Hopkinton. And I understand from talking with you a little um, in advance that you like to sometimes start with a uh, mantra uh, before you begin things. Um, and I wonder, as that's part of your uh, tradition, if you could tell a little bit more about that as we begin our interview. Sure. Um, and I also want to say it's a pleasure always yes. um, Same to here. spend time with you. And so this is a great reason mm -hmm. to get together and just have my first cup of tea <laughs> my favorite spot in the backyard ah. with you. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a recitation, um, a mantra that I have been chanting for a very long time. And, um, from the time I was a baby, ah. uh, f you know, for the longest time that I can remember. And this is a prayer um, to Ganesha, mm -hmm. which I see more as a form of energy, an energy, a strong energy that I bow down to mm -hmm. um, every day. And Ganesha is, for um, those who don't know. He is a Hindu god. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, many times, you know, when you start off and you're younger, you don't know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You just follow what your parents tell you mm -hmm. and you listen to them and you just do some things because mm -hmm. you're told to. Mm -hmm. But over a period in time, you try to find meaning, mm -hmm. um, which, which I was able to do and try to understand what is it that I'm doing. And I think there, there is a lot of energy around us and um, what I'm doing is bowing down to that energy mm -hmm. every day. And um, all it's talking about is to just have that reverence mm -hmm. towards the energy and say um, to remove any difficulties mm. in the day, mm -hmm. um, to be that guiding force, to be with you. Mm -hmm. So invoke that energy. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you like to say it with me? I would, yes. All right. um, you will be my teacher. All right. Om. Om. Vakratunda. 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 Mahakaya. Mahakaya. Surya Koti. Surya Koti. Sama Prabha. Sama Prabha. Nirvignam. Nirvignam. Vignam. Kurume Deva. Kurume Deva. Sarva Karyeshu. Sadva Kareshu Sarvada. Sadvada. That's it. Ah, all right. So we have done that. And thank you for teaching and including me in that tradition, which uh, sounds uh, reverent and special and important to you as guiding you in daily life uh, and seems, um, regardless of our faith, uh, something important. Um, that we can count on uh, as we face each new day. And I think there is a lot to talk about with you about facing uh, each new day and uh, the different kinds of things that you do here in Cop Hopkinton and uh, a little story of your life. So let's, ready? Yes. Let's, let's go. Yes. Okay. So uh. we're, on, it, we're in your favorite spot in Hopkinton, uh. perhaps? Or I, in your home? In, um, I think I have a few. It's okay. very hard to point out one. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, 
in, I don't know if you want to speak about favorite spots that my take is in a different direction but one of my favorite spots in Hopkinton is the town common yes I love it mm. um, the other place that I really love is the senior center mm. yes um, that's a place it's become a second home to me uh -huh. Um, and usually are there on this day of the week, isn't that right? Yes, in, in the week. So some days when um, you know, I'm having difficulties, Ganesha helps me. Mm -hmm. uh, but also just a cup of coffee mm. at the senior center in the cafe helps me a lot. Mm -hmm. Now um, I've been there uh, and seen you in action there. And I know you were very famous at the senior center for your kindness and just the way that you uh, shine your light to the people there. I have heard that uh, from others uh, and our mutual interactions there. I, I think they have been very kind to me and um, I think this is the story of any um, immigrant who comes here. Ah. You know, you have grown up in a different country mm -hmm. and you miss a lot of things about the country you left. You, you enjoy, you respect a lot of things that you've got and, and I do too. Um, the part that I have missed is my elders, you know, mm -hmm. not having uh, my parents around, my uncles, aunts, my grandparents. That was um, always difficult for me. And uh, um, so the senior center gave me that comfort. And the seniors um, uh, were amazing, have been amazing to me and they have held me at difficult times um, and trust me you know the whole word of um, seniors I think um, they're very young young seniors they are yes. so young uh -huh. they're so full of life mm -hmm. and I also think that um, they see you as you are mm -hmm. and uh, they wow. speak their mind uh -huh. and I love their jokes uh, so I, I think it's a wonderful, fun place. Yes. So well, I can see how much they mean to you. Oh, You're being emotional now. Yes. Too. And uh, I have got so much from it, you know, yes. Cheryl. So I don't think it's just about me. It's been mutual. Right. You um, say they are so full of life at the senior center. What is it, do you think, that uh, is the common factor maybe for the seniors you talk with being full of life? Uh, I personally think that when you get together, mm -hmm. right, um, you're at a stage in your life where your daily grind is behind you. Mm -hmm. And so you are free to do what you love. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have a group of knitters who come together. Mm -hmm. You know, you have some things common. For instance, you know, maybe your body and, you know, the vitality of your body has reduced a little bit. Um, but you're, um, you know, you can s you get together and you laugh together. Mm -hmm. And so I think they have fun like that. Mm. Um, and you're doing something purposeful. You know, they, they knit, for instance, for they recently knit um, uh, red hats for babies. Red hats? That's right. Ah, and so very babies, vibrant color. That's, that's right. Mm -hmm. And I think they were babies um, who had some, um, you know, health issue. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, there was a wonderful lady, um, she was uh, probably late 90s, mm -hmm. and she is um, a beautiful, beautiful um, needlework. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe um, the work that she does. Wow. Uh -huh. And it's uh, so many of them, and I've learned so much from them. Yes. They tell me stories of their uh -huh. childhood, and we laugh about it. Mm -hmm. uh, they are a great group of people. Mm, wow, it sounds like a, a wonderful place to be uh, in so many ways uh, for the stories you receive and learn from and, and being with people who uh, are on fire and love mm. life with mm. even limited abilities mm. of their body. Um, so, well, good for our seniors at, uh, in Hopkinton and good for you too and the common is a favorite spot and and here in your home this is your favorite spot what brought you to hopkinton when did you arrive here we came here in 2010 right. and uh, we used to live in waltham mm -hmm. and um, more urban uh, yes area that you because were. my husband was going to college um, in cambridge and i was working in boston so waltham was very convenient for us but then we had our baby ah. 
and, and a baby son a baby <laughs> yes. boy uh -huh. um, and so we decided to look for a house mm -hmm. we were renting at that time mm. so this is our first house um, uh -huh. and so we started looking uh, we used to come to the Ashland Hindu temple for mm -hmm. the longest time yes. so we kind of knew the area mm -hmm. and we started looking at Ashland mm -hmm. to begin with I mean it's I think the familiarity of the area is important but then we also looked at Hopkinton because for all those years that we used to travel from wherever sometimes, you know, um, we used to live in Nashua, New Hampshire too. And we used to come every week from Nashua to, um, to Ashland and we would That's get off and we would get off for 495 and mm -hmm. get on 135 and cross Hopkinton. Uh, oh, for all these years just waiting for you <laughs> waiting for us and we came here and we saw this house and it was perfect it mm. had all the things that we wanted it mm. had character and um, you know all the little things that we wanted it had and the woods and Hopkinton just driving through the common and uh, you know the wooded shady areas and South Mill just the neighborhood it just seemed right just right and uh, and the common uh, interestingly is kind of also uh, you refer to it as your favorite place uh, for one day of the year the Boston Marathon becomes a a global uh, center in a way where we get people from all over the world here in our little town. Um, so, well, and uh, could you tell a little bit about uh, where you grew up in the world in childhood? Mm, you so I, sure, uh, I grew up in New Delhi. Um, mm -hmm. That's the capital of India. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. It's in the northern part of India. Uh, my parents are from south of India. Mm -hmm. Um, so we were kind of, you know, and, and especially in those days, uh, there's a huge cultural difference between the South and the North. Mm -hmm. um, also the language that we spoke was different. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, my father had settled for work in, in Delhi um, and he used to work for the parliament um, a long time ago. So they were very well assimilated mm -hmm. into the culture in the North. So I grew up in the North in Delhi. and. Uh, it was wonderful. I love Delhi and I thought I'm a Delhiite for life. <laughs> Delhiite. Uh, and um, so I, uh, and after that I went to back to South to college um, and I was working in Delhi for a little bit, then in Bangalore, mm -hmm. which everyone is very familiar with, with the IT hub. Mm -hmm. It was working in Bangalore for a while. That's where I met my husband. Ah. Got married and we came here mm -hmm. right away. I yes, right away. He was yes. already working here, and um, I got we got married, and within two weeks of our marriage, mm -hmm. we came here. Mm -hmm. I see. And um, so, uh, before leaving uh, India, what did you love to do as a child? What put you on fire? What did you love to do in your free time mm -hmm. that excited you? Um, so what I realized about myself like from an early age, there are a lot of things that interest me. Mm. Um, I, I guess I've been that person who wants to, you know, ex experiment and experience so many things in life. Mm. Um, so if I have to look back at that time, I think uh, uh, Bangalore was a fantastic place. At that time, um, you know, just before my marriage, all my relatives, all my family was visiting and I had my nephews, uh, actually they lit me up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister's son, um, Drew, he was a few years old and my brother's son, Kalki, he was also very young. So I used to love uh, being their special aunt, the mm. unmarried aunt at that time, and just spending time with them, mm -hmm. showering them with gifts, and mm -hmm. just playing with them. I think that interested me a lot. Um, I loved that. Um, and how about when you were in school, a little bit younger? Uh, what <clears throat> uh, did you feel especially excited about in learning mm. in your school system? Um, so I had some excellent teachers. Yeah. Growing what, up. what makes an excellent teacher? That's a that's a um, good question. I I personally think someone um, 
who it inspires you mm-hmm. to be um to be better mm-hmm. to find yourself and um to set the bar a little bit higher mm. so that you aspire for bit better bigger things um i think inspiration someone inspiration. who can inspire you mm-hmm. um and uh, are fair kind you know all those mm, things fairness Matt. and kindness yeah, i i think that's important to me yes. and uh so this is interesting because you are serving on our town school committee at this mm-hmm. time and so it is uh helpful and interesting to know uh your roots and uh beliefs of from own experience mm-hmm. how that influences all of us really mm-hmm. um so how about did you have any favorite teachers oh i had uh, a lot of teachers that i loved and i got a lot of love back from them um but i must tell you that um, you know when we take about talk about teachers um you know there are gurus that's how we look at it growing up in india gurus are equated with gods mm-hmm. um and so um i had a lot of gurus mm-hmm. one of my favorite gurus is my brother ah why is that um he was this big brother of mine mm-hmm. and somehow i had these uh, i revered him whatever mm-hmm. he did it was uh, it meant a lot to mm-hmm. me and um i he he gave me a lot of life lessons we we were three of us growing up mm-hmm. and um so he gave me a lot of life lessons very early on um you know so one of the things that he told me um so in my class i used to be uh, a little competitive i must say about a little what competitive competitive yes. um I, i don't know how to pronounce competitive, it competitive yeah. competitive mm-hmm. and um so it was about and so we we didn't have grades we would have rankings mm-hmm. so it was about who's going to be number 1 and so my brother very early on told me mina it is not about competing with others mm-hmm. you have to compete with yourself mm-hmm. are you the best you can be and wow. that's all is in your control and i was very young you know maybe in elementary which means he himself was probably only in a 6th 7th grade wow and um that's quite a mature philosophy right? for a 6th or 7th grader but. um but i held on to that yes and yeah. i believed in that and that's um, one of my strong beliefs in life that it's not about competing with anyone else it's about you mm-hmm. and just being you yeah oh and that is so valuable for guiding uh wisdom to live by that uh we don't always uh connect to or hear from others unfortunately so you had a very wise guru brother yes um and and so many other things that i learned from him of course my parents my sister um but also in my school i had amazing teachers um i had one biology teacher in middle school who i loved mm-hmm. she certainly inspired me um to have more um uh, you know connectedness with environment caring ah. for environment mm-hmm. and a uh, very important value absolutely and i i think at that time you know those were the topics that we were studying it was only much later that we got into you know the nitty gritties of dissecting uh, animals mm-hmm. and stuff that was much later but in middle school the focus was a lot about environment and you know what does this mean mm-hmm. what do we get from this cows or you know how mm-hmm. animal husbandry and things like mm-hmm. that um so she certainly inspired me mm-hmm. um, a lot um jyoti ma'am excuse me her name was jyoti and jyoti. we would call her jyoti ma'am jyoti ma'am so everybody was a ma'am mm-hmm. madam and um i had a english teacher in high school she was amazing mm. um lata ma'am lata ma'am lata okay. and um she was amazing and she inspired me to um you know develop that love mm. for language in english mm-hmm. and i think that's what um good teachers do mm. they inspire you to explore a particular area and um i think it through that you are actually enriching your life experience it deepens mm-hmm. your life experience mm-hmm. i think that's what it's all about mm-hmm. it's not specifically about learning english that happens mm-hmm. absolutely but it's that 
deeper sense mm -hmm. and the deeper experience that you get, I think. Of uh, what life is all about. What life is all mm -hmm. about and mm -hmm. just um, experiencing it mm -hmm. fully mm -hmm. um, and observing things, being more keen, paying yeah. attention to things. Um, I think I learned that from What's my... What's really important in life, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and so I learned that from my um, gurus. Mm -hmm. And you have brought it over here to Hopkinton and you're representing our community on mm -hmm. the board for the school committee. Mm -hmm. And um, how, how is that work uh, going for you? Uh, do you want to say a few words uh, about that, how it relates maybe to your past school experience, what a good teacher is, uh, dreams for uh, learning and education? Mm -hmm. This is only my first year. Congratulations. Um, thank you. And uh, what I um, have learned, uh, so the past one year for me has been a lot of learning, Cheryl. Mm, yes. A lot of learning. Mm -hmm. And um, so obviously I came with a lot of ideals and, um, you know, I do bring my um, my values, my belief mm -hmm. in education, what life is, what success is, what, what does education mean, what's the purpose of it. I think about all these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think it's something that you can get to in a day. Mm -hmm. It's something you learn, you listen to others like yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a lot of other great friends and uh, colleagues from whom I have learned their beliefs and just listening to them and adjusting your own compass too mm -hmm. along the way. Mm -hmm. um, so I've learned a lot in the past one year of being on the school committee. Um, so the school committee, uh, um, it involves a lot of work. Yes, yes. Um, if you want to do the job right, you mm -hmm. have to apply yourself, uh, learn, listen, um, and so it was a lot of learning for mm. me this past one year. I asked a lot of questions. Mm. Uh, which which is part of the uh, importance for learning model uh, to uh, be able to ask questions. Right. And teach children about that too. That, that's right. So what is one thing maybe you come away with because I see we have five minutes left oh, already. Right? Can you believe it? No. <laughs> so. This seems short for our I usual <laughs> chats that we have, Cheryl. Uh -huh. um, so this, this is important work that you do. Your own past work has been more in finance. That's right. And the corporate world that you That's came right. from. That's right. And then a change of life coming here, living in Hopkinton and uh, spending more time at home and community with your son who's still young. Yes. Yes. So do you have any observation in seeing the two worlds? Uh, maybe in one minute you can speak on what you've learned in your school of life. Uh, um, what so life is about, work in different settings. Um, uh, actually, that's a quote that um, I read in one of your emails, which I really loved. I've been in my journey, on my journey. Yeah. And I feel I'm in a good place. I'm very mm -hmm. happy with the turn of uh, my life. Mm -hmm. I got a lot. Um, you know, I'm very happy that I was in India. I had that experience. I'm very happy that I'm here in America mm -hmm. and I've uh, learned so much being in America. I'm very happy that um, I worked in the finance world. Thanks to that, we have a, you know, that helped mm -hmm. have a house, have a swing set. Nature. Um, and yeah, nature and yeah, so many yeah. things. Um, and I'm very happy that I'm part of this wonderful community and I have the family and friends that I do. Um, so the one thing that at this moment that I'm thinking is that quote from David Orr. Oh. That's on your email. Uh -huh. um, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't quote my quotes. And that's, that where, that's where, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to quote it exactly. Mm. But it was something to the effect that what we don't, uh, w uh, what what we need in this world yeah. are people who are happy and content and doing things that they're doing and they're good at mm -hmm. in whatever places they're in. What we don't need are more successful people. Ah, yes, okay. A and uh -huh. the way we define success today. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that is something I'm also working on. I mm -hmm. don't think it's easy because we all have a certain view of success. Um, so I'm trying to adjust that. So that's the new. Uh, your new uh, 
quote of the day. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, so thank you for sharing yeah. oh, that with well, me. Oh, good. Um, and uh, we need to wrap it up, unfortunately, but we were just uh, beginning, it seems. But you talked about working with the elders in the beginning, and it's kind of a common thread in your interview about uh, becoming alive and finding what's important in life. And I know that you, I don't know, we didn't talk many about many of your hobbies, but I know that you make a joyful sound with an object of earth. And I wonder if you could close our interview with that. We can give it a try. Let's All right. see how that goes. Uh, where is it? It's right there. Oh, and what is this? Uh, <clears throat> this is a conch shell. Yes. And um, I actually got it from India, and I'm sure we get them here. And all you have to do, um, I'm going to have to practice a little bit. And, right. you know, it may not come out right just the first time. May I just? So you have to blow all the air into this. Uh -huh. and not let anything leak. So if uh -huh. it makes funny sounds, you'll have to excuse me okay, the first yes. time. So you have to make this sound. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you just woke up the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this was used, uh, you know, this sound is used for many, many, many things. Uh -huh. um, for celebration. For celebration. Um, and it was also used as a sound of victory. It's also used, you know, so, you know um, to ward off negative energy. Uh, many, many things mm. like that. Would you want to give it a try? Sure. Life is short and it's good to try <laughs> new things. Was that a good sound? Did it make <laughs> a it. good sound? It was beautiful and okay. very loud. <laughs> I'm is sure that my, Yeah, the dogs down the street jumped. Oh. All right. Boom. You'll get there. It takes, it takes practice. I fail. <laughs> no! But it I, takes all practice. All right, one more time. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Thank Great you very job. much. It was Pleasure. very, very Pleasure. wonderful to talk with you today. Oh, yes. And uh, look forward, we look forward to hearing and learning more from you within the community. Thank you, Mina. Thank you. What a pleasure. <laughs>